Hey guys, I need to go grab a new pick. Been uh, making some progress down on the slime farm. Cleaned it up a lot actually. I spent, I don't know, four or five hours yesterday getting rid of all the cobblestone, cleaning it up down there, making the roof all nice. I think I went through about 16 stacks of smooth stone, give or take. It's quite a lot. I had to come up here a few times and fill up, nope, and fill up um, these furnaces here with coal and more cobblestone. Smelt all that down, and yeah, I got the slime area looking nice, and I started working on floor four. And so you got some lapis here. Don't think there was really anything else this way yet. Yeah, I just started clearing this out a little bit, getting it ready for the branches. And let's see, what level are we on now? This is level 18, 17, and 18. So I think this is still diamond country. Find out pretty soon when I start branching out, if I don't find any diamonds. Uh, so I had to move the water break up a little bit more again. And yeah, I just pretty much dug this out, just ready to go for another set of branches. So let's see what's going on down here. Oh, didn't make it. I really need to get a better way to come down here. So this is what we're looking like now. Um, I decided to get rid of the the little overhang we had here. Made it all flush. Took away all the, well, most of it, not all of it yet. Still got a bit to go. All the cobblestone, redstone, dirt, gravel, and everything else are in these walls. Got rid of them all, replaced it all with smooth stone. The ceiling I took care of. It's all nice and flat, and smooth, and nice looking now. Just left a one block lip all the way around the edge, except for the front here. You'll probably notice these two things sticking out, and this is where the water is for the hostile mob system. I couldn't go any higher than that, otherwise water comes out. Uh, I did find some diamond there, and there was another patch way over here. Still need to get to digging that out just now. Um, this was actually above, I think... The branch mine was like right here, or the the path for that mine was like right there. It might have been right there, I forget. It's hard to tell now that I sealed those all up. Yeah, I was in a spot that I couldn't see it before. It looks like that one right there was only going to be one. Maybe two, it's hard to say, but it doesn't look like that one was going to be a big vein. So it's easy to be missed with a branch mine set up like I've been doing. Yeah, so this is coming along pretty well. What I want to do is make this all smooth stone except for one e one block along the bottom here where the water is touching. I want to leave that all cobble all the way around. So there's still some dirt and stuff that I need to remove. Some redstone there. And this I need to clean up a bit too, but I didn't want to do that yet since we have to replace those signs, which means we have to take out the water and fix those all again. Some cobble in there. But yeah, I'd say this is probably like 95% complete how I want it. Pretty happy with the way this has turned out. I do need to... Well, I was actually thinking about turning this top floor into like an observation deck. Maybe making it all uh, glass up top so you can see through and look down. I still need to hook up a water system up here so we can flip a switch. Water will pour down, cover this entire spawning area with water and prevent slimes from spawning. It, but in order to do that, since the way you know water works, funny, if I have a drop down like that, I'm just going to find the closest path to the edge. What I need to do is craft a whole bunch of signs and put signs out like this all the way across. It won't be solid like that, but water will pretty much act like it's solid. So you'd rather go down than across. 
But basically what will happen is once I get water or signs filled up in all these spots around here, dumping water like this will just go everywhere like we want it. So it'll look kind of weird with the water kind of going off over signs over nothing. But it'll help out a lot covering the entire spawning pad area with water more effectively. That's something that's probably going to take a while as well. Not sure how I'm going to have this hooked up, how far apart I need to space the water streams or anything like that. But it'll be an interesting project. It's something I'm going to have to take care of pretty soon. Okay, so for today, I wanted to start working on an outside tree farm. But this time, it's going to be not for just your standard plain trees. It's going to be for birch trees and pine trees since those require about five spaces all around them in order to grow. Can't really pack them tight like I have the ones in this inside tree farm. So what I need to do is go get some birch saplings. I think I have some at the starting base. I also need to get some pine saplings. And I don't believe I've cut down any pine trees in this world yet. I could be wrong, but I don't think I have. So I need to... I know there's some snowy areas over by the starting base because I saw some when I was over there. And I think in episode 4, uh, when I was cruising around the entire uh, ocean area or water area, before I found this base, I, I remember seeing there was a snowy biome over there. I don't think I saw anything that was snowy around here. Actually, we can look at this map real quick. I don't recall there being any snow around here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that it's all green and sand here. No, well, I guess no. At the top center, there's a little bit, but well, that's actually pretty close to where the starting base is. So I'm just gonna, I <laughs> still do that. Uh, so I'm just gonna hop in the um, in the cart over here, and let's take a stroll over to the starting base. grab some birch and some pine saplings and get this going yeah I really like the way this underwater tunnel looks during the daytime it's pretty cool I really would like to do an underwater base of some sort eventually Okay, can I see what this area looks like now during the daytime? I guess it's becoming dusk already. So these trees have grown. I actually came out of here and put some bone meal on them. These chunks aren't loaded over by my other base, so they would have been saplings for forever unless I did that. I think there might be too many trees over there. Let's just hop over to the starting base area. Probably have a quick nap. It's been a while since I've been over here, really. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. It's a lava lake. My original zombie spawner trap over there. Okay, so there's no saplings in here. Some regular saplings, some birch wood, can take that, some birch saplings. And I'll just leave those here. Yeah, I don't think I need any of this other stuff. Suppose we can take those for whatever reason, don't really need feathers. Let's have a sleep. Okay, time to go exploring. Now I think it was just right over here. I don't think it's too far. probably farther than I'm remembering it, but I think it's just right past that hazy distance there that it starts turning into snowy areas. I 
I'm pretty sure that I've never explored this area. So I don't even know what's over here. Can collect some snowballs. I don't have any of those. Not really sure what I'm going to use snowballs for, but why not? Oh, they only stacked the 16. That's not good. Ah, uh, pine trees right here. Okay, so let's mm. These trees are so dang tall. That's weird, there's running water there. Hmm. Wonder why. Oh well. Not important. Okay, so we got one pie sapling. That's gonna get us far. So you need to wait for those leaves to despawn. Oh, there's more uh, pine over here. That's cool. I don't really want to leave this place barren of trees, though. I don't know. Just doesn't feel right. Nope. Let's see if we can get over here and get some saplings going. Okay, I got four saplings now. Once he's a spawn, I probably have five or six. Or maybe not. The uh, pine trees are a little stingy. Okay, oh, well, there's some more over here that I didn't see. Okay, well, this is dropping a decent amount. Kind of want to replant some of these. Don't know why, I just feel like I should. And I get a bone. Yeah, and I think I want to put another one back over here. Okay. So, I managed to get, what was it, eight birch saplings and seven pine. So, not too many, but I don't really know how big I want to make these outside tree farms. I mean, they gotta be spaced pretty good, a decent amount apart, and I don't even know where I'm gonna put it just yet. Well, actually, I think 
this area over here might be a good spot. Not too close. Well, yeah, I think we could put the special tree farm over here. Maybe some kind of like a fountain or decorative thing in the center-ish area here. And... I still want to get like an outside minecart thing happening out here. Might be able to have that come out over in this area. I don't know. I mean the minecart thing could come out in the center here too. Hmm. Well, if I'm going to do it here, I need to level this ground out a bit. Probably get rid of that leak. Let's see if we got another vantage point. Yeah, it almost seems like... I don't really want to put it right here because I don't want to, you know, block the existing view and the entrances to these places. It feels like that it really should be back here or off to the side here. But if I put it right here, that's going to be a lot of work trying to level that out and bring it up. Yeah, I'm thinking it's probably going to have to be back in there. And if that's the case, I need to grab a whole bunch of dirt because that needs to be filled in. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, got some dirt ready here. Got some supplies. Probably going to line the tree farm, each individual tree with some stone slams. Probably just going to go ahead and fill this in off camera. Not really worth showing what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this leak. Flatten this area out a bit so we can lay down some trees, have this nice looking, and I'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and I flattened this area out, got rid of all the wild grass and flowers, laid down some dirt, filled in what needed to be filled in, took care of that little pond. I think we're about ready to start working on this farm. What I'm thinking I want to do is have three by three of each type of tree, probably right next to each other. Uh, each of the trees is going to be surrounded with uh, half slabs. These stone slabs. I might change those out for wood slabs later. Not sure. I'm going to have to think about it and see how it looks. So the general idea is to have them set up like this with the tree in the center. And I think it said that these need five spaces in order to grow, so I might need to tear some of this off. Not really sure. I might have to put dirt like that. We'll have to see how this works. So if that's going to be one, this is going to be two, three, four, and I think right there could be the next tree. So I think we're going to need one space between each of these rings. So like that, and then do a couple more th this way. Hopefully this is right. I probably should have tested if the trees will grow nukes to each other first before laying these down. Eh, oh well. It's not too terribly difficult to remove these and replace them later. And one more. Yeah, I probably flattened out more grass than needed to be done. Oh well. And then we're gonna think. Yeah, I'm just going to put it right next to it over here. I don't think we really need a big space separating them. Whoop. Just do like this. 
And don't have enough room. Get out of here, cow. Okay, so... Oop. Should be more careful when placing these. Okay, just need to put down a few more. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, not my day. And just need to grab a couple more half slabs. Okay, so we can put those away. Saplings, we got some bone meal. I think I'm gonna do the pine back here. I might actually make this all half slabs, kind of annoying bobbing up and down. Okay, that grows. That grows. Yeah, I think this will work out great. Whoop! <laughs> I'm stuck! Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, well... Don't bone meal if you're in the path of where the tree's gonna be growing. Oh, that's gonna be awesome, okay. So now let's... oh, I still have another... another sapling put down. I love it. And these trees, they're not like the oak or the normal wood trees where you gotta spam the bone meal on them. These just seem to grow the first try. Imagine... Oh, these birch are gonna be the same way. Okay, let's check it out. Yep, just seems to be one click. Awesome. I really like the way those pines look. I might, after I get enough saplings, start Maybe going around the perimeter of this area. Maybe not, I don't know. We'll have to see. This seems to be more of like a, a dry desert, deserty area. I don't know if pine trees really fit this biome. I mean, obviously they don't naturally grow here, but they might just look a little out of place. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I'll make this all one type of tree and then come out over here and do another type of tree. Don't really know if we need that many, but I think it might look better having more of the same type of tree clustered together. And then I'm going to have to decide if I want to leave them open air like that or if I want to put some kind of like a surrounding around them. Yeah. Not sure. It probably should clear out some of this hilly area around it. Well, that worked out pretty good. I'm I'm happy with this so far. Might find a use for this wood, although I'm not really sure about the birch wood. It's not that great looking. I've seen people use it in buildings before. I haven't been too impressed with the way it looks. I don't know. I like this darker wood of the pines. That looks nice. 
It's too bad though when you turn these into planks that they all look exactly the same. And you don't have like darker planks that you can use. Okay, well I think that's probably going to do it for today guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.